welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new today I'm gonna to be doing another back to school video I'll link all my other ones in the description box for you guys because I've done a ton so far but today I was super excited to do this one because you guys know I love doing clothing hack videos and fashion videos all that stuff I'll leave my playlist also in the description box dress codes can be really annoying and sometimes they're a little bit too extreme I know that dress codes alternate between school to school so it's maybe different for you compared to what my dress codes were so this is gonna be a video on how to get away with wearing the clothes you want without breaking the dress code and these are my little tips and tricks to get away and be a little sneaky person and wear what you want to wear so if you guys like it thumbs up so I know as well as if you go over right now to my Instagram you follow me and comment on my latest post I will both spam you as long as your accounts are not private of course and that being said let's just jump into it <laughs> the first tip I'm going to be giving you guys is for off-the-shoulder tops I personally love off-the-shoulder tops I just love the way it looks I think it's so flattering on everyone so I know during school time dress code you're not allowed to show your shoulders which I don't completely understand but we're just gonna deal with it these are my tips to wear all those cute off-the-shoulder tops that you bought so the first one is to wear a bralette underneath it so just kind of having a thicker bralette peeking through can be a really good option so it kind of gives you those straps so you're allowed to wear them or another thing is if you really want to be sneaky you could just put them a little bit up and if you want just put it down a little bit maybe when there's no teachers around you can put it a little bit down a little shoulder doesn't kill nobody and the third little tip I have for you guys is if you want to wear off the shoulder tops you can always and kind of get away with it you can just put your backpack shoulders over on top and you have straps without the teachers knowing so those are my tips and tricks on what to do if you want to rock that off the shoulder top but your school may not necessarily like them <laughs> The next thing I'm going to be talking about is crop tops and I love crop tops as you guys probably know. They are my favorite things to wear ever. Crop top sweaters, crop tops, tops, t-shirts, you know, all that good stuff. So these are my tips and tricks on what to do in order to still wear your crop tops for school. So of course the first one I have for you guys is to just wear high waisted pants or jeans or anything like that but get the super high waisted ones because even if they're a little like mid rise you still may see your skin peeking through. I love these high waisted jeggings that I'm showing you guys from H&M. I always get high waisted jeggings from H&M and I find they go really past the belly button so even when you wear your crop tops you're not going to see any skin peek through so it's going to be a dress code appropriate. Or another option I have for you guys is you can wear skin tone tank tops underneath and it's going to look like you're not even wearing a crop top but you do have a tank top so if a teacher says anything you just show her that you're wearing a tank top underneath and it is not your stomach. That is just a little cool way to still get away with your crop tops and wear them for school time. Next is mesh clothing. I've been so into mesh lately. I don't know what it is but I bought so many clothes that are mesh and of course you want to be able to wear the new things you bought. So a little tip I have for you guys is to just wear that new tank top underneath. Obviously you can't just wear a little bralette underneath your mesh top which you might have done without being in school. So just add that new tank top and it still looks super cute but you're dress code appropriate. The next little tip I have for you guys are for ripped jeans. I personally love wearing ripped jeans. They are like my favorite things ever. But during the school year you may not be allowed to show your legs through the holes and all that stuff. Avoid this is to wear tights or stockings underneath it. You can go all out with it. You can put cool little de designs underneath it and it can also spice up your outfit as well. So this is a little cool trip that I like to do. You can put your little fishnets, whatever you want, but it covers the skin more and it will be school appropriate. My next one is if you want to wear your spaghetti strap tank tops but you're not allowed to, you could just throw on a t-shirt underneath. And this also goes with like spaghetti strap dresses or something like that. Just throw on a t-shirt underneath. This is super trendy actually, so you're going with the trends and you're also dress code appropriate, which is what we want. <laughs> and this next one I have for you guys is for v-neck t-shirts. So your t-shirts or your tops may be a little bit too low, so a little tip I have for you guys is to wear a bralette underneath that's more a similar color to your top. So if you have a black top, then wear something black underneath, even if it's a little cami or something like that. Or you can even tie a little bandeau across to make your own 
DIY bralette and it'll just peek through enough so that it becomes dress code appropriate. So I definitely recommend doing that if your tops are a little too low cut. Just add something that kind of looks similar to the actual top color. So it kind of looks like it's already a part of that shirt. And these next little tips I have for you guys is if you want to wear, let's say, shorts or something like that, they're a little bit too short. A little tip I have for you guys is to wear a flannel around your waist or wear high-waisted shorts so that you can pull them down after. I find that is so much better because if a teacher comes by and says it's a little too short, you can pull the high-waisted shorts a little bit lower than if they were just regular like jean shorts or something like that. Another little tip I have for you guys is if your shorts are way too short, all you have to do is put stockings underneath as well. And this is really cute even for the fall time when you wear little shorts with stockings and some combat boots. So you can really dress it up and it can be really trendy and you're still going to be a dress code appropriate. So those are all the tips and tricks I have for you guys when it comes to being able to wear what you want, still dressing to the dress code. <laughs> Thumbs it up if you guys liked it and found it useful. As well as don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to join the Nicolette's Bam Jam Circle uploads every Every other day here on my channel and as well as I hope you guys are having an amazing day evening or night whenever you're watching this and I'll catch you guys in my next one bye